welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today we're not making soap. We're gonna make wax melts, super strong wax melts. So they set the whole room that they're going off into. And I'm gonna be using my little clamshell molds. I absolutely love these. I'll leave a link down below where I got them, and uh, they're easy to label. They ship wonderfully, and I think they look adorable. So those are the molds we're gonna use for our wax melts today. For the fragrances, we're going to do two different ones. I held up, that's four. Two, two different ones. <laughs> I'll be using my strawberry cheesecake from Nature's Garden. And uh, this did not have great reviews for cold process soap, so we're using it in wax melts because it smells amazing. It didn't have bad reviews on soap, but it caused a slight separation and uh, it discolors. And so I'm like, you know what? It smells fantastic. Let's use it in a wax melt. So strawberry cheesecake is going to be one. And then for the other one, this is another one that isn't a perfect behavior in cold process, is apple brown sugar. Doesn't that name sound? Okay, so yeah. <laughs> and that's what it smells like really good from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So those are the two fragrances we're going to be doing today. Let me show you the colors that I have. Uh, you can buy all kinds of candle colors. So in a wax melt, you want to use a candle colorant. Uh, you can use micas, but they don't absorb. They will make sort of a beautiful swirly uh, look in your melted wax, but they don't really color. It's more like a galaxy look in there because they're not... Um, wax soluble if you will so for the colors you want to get a, can a candle type or a wax soluble colorant so i have a couple of liquids here i just got these on amazon like super inexpensive i looked up and um you can see they're a mess they're very concentrated these liquids i haven't picked which ones i'm using but uh these are just some liquids and i will try to find a link uh if you just look up candle colorants on Amazon, you will see a whole slew of them. So those are liquid ones that I got. And then I also got these candle dye chips. And it came in this little multi, whoops, I'm dropping them all over. It came in this little multi-pack. Um, and so you just melt these little wax dye chips down into your melted wax. So any candle dye will do, uh, but that is what we're doing today. And then I will show you how I decorate the top of them after they're poured in the clamshells, just to make them extra pretty for the, you know, when you get a wax melt, you want it to be super special. So we're gonna decorate these and uh, that's all. And I'll show you, I'll talk you through the way that I do them, how to make them super strong for a good scent throw, uh, because, you know, when you have the, one of those little warmer wax melts, you want it to scent the room that it's in. So, and that's called a hot scent throw. There's a cold scent throw, and this is the same for candles. Well, not exactly the same, but similar to candles is uh, when you have a non-burning candle and you smell it, that's a cold throw or a cold scent. And then when you light the flame on it or with the wax melt, you put it in the warmer and it starts to heat, that's your hot throw. And so, you know, they're two different things sometimes with fragrances. So we'll talk about that. With my wax melts, you can go pretty high on the fragrance oil concentration because number one, it's not touching your skin. It's not a bath and body product. So number two, there's not a flame coming to this. There's no wick and you're not lighting it on fire. So uh, it's safer to put a really heavy fragrance load in a wax melt. And so you get a nice throw from it, scent throw. So we'll talk about that when we get there, how I formulate that. And uh, so anyway, let me get everything pulled together, get my wax out, and I'll talk about the wax I'm using today. And let's make some really super strong scented, fun wax melts. All right, I'm back and set up here for my first batch of wax melts. I'm gonna make several today because when I have my hot plate out, I just wanna, you know, get it all done in bulk. So right now we're gonna do the strawberry cheesecake, from Nature's Garden. Oh, this smells nice, nice, nice. <laughs> and I have my little red dye chips. So I think I'm gonna do red on the base and then do a little drizzle and maybe put down some sugar pearls to decorate the top. We'll get to that when we get there. But right now, let me tell you about the wax I'm using. It's already heating up. I'm using Pillar of Bliss Wax from Nature's Garden. It's just a beautiful wax melt wax and it holds a really nice load of fragrance oils. I've been very happy with the Pillar of Bliss. Um, you can use several different waxes and if you do use a different wax, just look at the directions for the wax that you're using. The heating directions and things are a little bit different for each different kind of wax. So for Pillar of Bliss, we wanna get this up to 195 degrees Fahrenheit. I got my little point and shoot thermometer here. Obviously it needs to melt, but 195, and then we wanna cool it down to 180 before we add our fragrance. 
So the Pillar of Bliss recommends one ounce of fragrance per pound of oils, and I like to go a little heavier than that. And I wanna actually revise, um, I had done a previous wax melt video where I do like uh, three ounces per pound of fragrance, and I will still do that if I have a fragrance that's very soft or light. I will add a very heavy fragrance load to my wax melts because there's no flame to it. It's not on your skin. I'm comfortable doing that. But this is a very nice, strong smelling fragrance. So I'm gonna add this at about 13% of my wax. So 10 to 13% is nice if you have a good, strong fragrance oil. So this is 22 ounces of wax. I'm gonna add 2.8 ounces of fragrance in here once it's melted and cooled back down. Um, and I will add the dye chips once we get up to temperature. You wanna add these when it's nice and hot so that they melt thoroughly. So that's what we're doing. Now it's just the waiting game. I've got my 22 ounces of wax here. I have it directly on the heat because I'm gonna just be here stirring it. You can do a double boiler if you're comfortable with that. But uh, this is how I'm doing it. I've got my hot plate out. So this 22 ounces plus the volume of the fragrance oil will fill eight of these little standard size clam shells, nice and full. These hold right up to the brim, three ounces each. I don't like to fill it all the way to the brim, but I like to cover the little crosshairs here so that it's easy to snap. So I've got eight of these off to the side for this first batch. We'll come back when this is melted and it's time to add the dye chips. All right, the wax is all melted and it's over 195, so it's time to add the color. And I've changed my mind because <laughs> I was thinking uh, strawberry cheesecake. Cheesecake is more of a yellow, creamy yellow, so I'm gonna do yellow in the base. And then I will do the little reds for the drizzle on top to represent the strawberry for the strawberry cheesecake. So change on the colors. I'm gonna get the dye chips in here. Um, and I have a little piece of just white paper off to the side so that I can test the colors. Uh, the best way to test it is to do a little drip, let it cool, and you can see what the colors are. Because when they're, you know, wet, it looks different than it will when it's all, you know, done. So I'm going to take about that much, throw it in here, let it melt, and we will give it a try. It doesn't take a lot, but, you know, it's just one of those kind of... Keep adding until you like it. Start out small and then add and add until you get to where you want to be. It's better to start out small and add than to put too much in there because, you know, you can only get so yellow and then the rest is a waste. So start out small. This is nice and hot. And the stirring of the color in here helps to cool it down because now we want to come down to that 180, 185 to 180, and then we will add the fragrance and get it poured. All right, I think that's all melted in there. So just kind of let it drip and do a couple of drips here and let it cool for a second. And that is a pretty kind of buttery yellow. I'm actually gonna let that ride. It's a very soft yellow because cheesecake's not bright yellow. It's got that sort of creamy yellow. I'm happy with that. So we're just waiting on the temperature so now I'm just going to stir this occasionally and keep taking the temperature until we hit, you know, under 185 and then we'll get moving forward. All right, we are down to 180. So here is my fragrance oil that I've pre-measured. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, <laughs> so good. All right, and you want to stir it several times one direction and then several times the other direction. You just wanna make sure it's really well and incorporated before you start pouring, and that is great. Oh, it smells so nice. All right, let me scoot these over, and I just have a little sticky here that says strawberry cheesecake that I'm gonna leave near this so that I, as I get to pouring several, I will know what's what. So this pic pitcher is okay to pour with, um, you know, smaller pour pitchers might be a little easier, but I have my little paper towel here to catch any drips. So you just gotta pour slowly and carefully because it is very hot and I wanna fill these up very full.
we're on to our next batch, which is going to be apple brown sugar. This does, doesn't that sound delicious? Um, and I have a liquid dye that I'll be using, this brown, to get a nice caramely color. So we're going to get that melted and poured. And I was off by the count. <laughs> it, it took nine clamshells uh, with this volume. I'm doing the same again, 22 ounces of wax. I'll do 2.8 ounces of fragrance, a little bit of dye, and we'll get nine clamshells out of that. All right, the second batch is up to 195. So I'm going to take it off the heat here and start cooling down phase. And I made another change. <laughs> I am going to save this brown for the drizzle on top of this apple brown sugar. And I have seen Eve over at Eden's Secret uh, use mica in wax melts. And it's so beautiful. So I'm actually going to use a mica in this and it makes like a galaxy swirl. So let's add a little of this crimson red mica, which will represent the apple, and then the drizzle will be the brown sugar. And it's such a pretty effect when it goes in here. So it makes a just a beautiful swirly. Isn't that pretty? And as it melts, it's going to do this sort of galaxy swirl. When this melts in the warmer, it gets this just sort of, you know, shiny, swirly galaxy effect, which I think is beautiful. So we're gonna let this cool down before we add the fragrance and we'll get to pouring. but they're firmed up and it's time to do the tops on here. So I have a little bit of melted wax that I've put some of those red dye chips in and it's a very fuchsia color, but that's okay because, you know, the strawberry cheesecake and uh, I did a berry patch and apple brown sugar. I think they're all just kind of fun, fruity sort of over notes. So I've got a little pipette here that I've snipped off the top to make the hole a little bigger. And I'm going to just do some drizzles on a few of these and see how I like it. Um, on the berry patch, I think I will do my sugar pearls on the berry patch because I think the colors look really good with that. So let's just get some sucked up in here and just do a little drizzle back and forth. It's so pretty. It just adds a little dimension. I think it makes it look really pretty. got all the tops of these decorated. I'm just going to let them sit out and finish cooling completely. And then I'll come back in, seal them up, label them, and they're ready to go. Um, I let them sit and cure for about a week before I put them for sale. It just helps the wax to really stabilize. Uh, so anyway, there they are. And I think they're just adorable. I love how they came out. It smells really good in here. All right, it's the next day. I let these sit overnight before I closed up the clamshells. Aren't they just adorable? I am loving these. So now it's time to get them labeled 
And uh, I use onlinelabels.com to buy the labels and then they have a maestro label designer through them that I use to make my labels. So it's simple as just putting a label on here and then you're done. It's so easy and I think they're just wonderful. So I'm gonna get all these labeled up and uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you make some wax melts. Uh, they just make your house smell divine, you know. How fun is that? <laughs>